Good morning everyone. So today is my last full day here. So I'm just going to go on this little walk. And see what comes up. I guess the first thing for me is gratitude. I feel so grateful to have experienced this time here. It's felt very nurturing and very healing. And it's given me an opportunity to take stock, which is such a useful thing to do. Just to break away from everything that you do. Be somewhere else. Consider life and everything. It's been great. I get hit by the really powerful odours of the plants along this stretch. Really good. One of the things I've learnt is how dependent I've become on devices and connectivity. Being a person who spent most of their life without any such things and who was slow to engage with them I'm very surprised how they've just crept under my awareness threshold to become so significant and to feel perhaps it's my biggest habit now and being aware how easily engaging with devices Swallows up time. And how personally for me, fascinating it is to tune in through YouTube and other ways and find out about people's lives in other countries. I've been Truly fascinated by exploring China lately through YouTube as I'm exploring Tenerife on foot. Somehow I find that exploring the way others live and other environments really helpful on my own journey. I felt I've Received a lot of clear indications about my next steps. So this cloud has just been burnt off by the sun's rays. I've learnt to love this landscape. I feel a deep appreciation for it and attachment to it. It's great.
it's remarkable how plants can thrive so well on not that much water. I notice this meditation I'm doing up from one minute to two minutes still the four days a week every single time I begin I immediately go to gratitude that feels like the only destination for me with meditation always with the gratitude wherever I am whatever's going on Something else I've learnt by being here is how important it is for me to do my work. Having had more than a year away from it, effectively. Realising I'm not a person that can dedicate myself to one person. But actually, I feel I'm designed to work with small groups. It's really helpful to know. One of the things I'm especially grateful for whilst I've been here is the fact that I've not been living the life of a tourist but the life of someone who lives here. I spent a lot of time doing cleaning of the house, the car, jobs in the garden. Really enjoyed doing that. It was worth my walks, it's been great. And clearly, to be here with my partner, while she's supporting her dad, that's been a very special experience too. I can see if I don't have work to engage with, and I'm away from my own culture, I quickly get bored and boredom is something I've scarcely experienced in my life so that's quite a shocker really my last time I felt bored was when I was in my teens so suddenly I've had a chance to re-experience what for me has largely been an alien quality in my life so that's been something too which is how I discovered about the dependence upon the devices and the connectivity Because we have had some rain in the last couple of days, this ground is no longer dry, dusty. It's actually soft, quite delightful to walk on. And here, straight ahead, there are so many yellow flowers. You can see them, quite big ones.
So I'd like to thank you for being with me. Thank you for subscribing, for joining me on these journeys. And thank you for your comments, I always appreciate them. And if you ever want to ask me anything, most welcome. And so there we are, we have this valley of Valaguna where I've been. So great gratitude to the plants, the animals, the wind, the sun, the people, the buildings, all of it. Thank you very much for everything. And until I come again, bye bye.